and gentlemen, welcome to our second video blog of Rory and Clement in Miami. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're talking about what happened after our first video blog. Yeah. So let's just start. So after we finish the video recording, we so he's from uh, he's from uh, Miami. Yeah, he is. Uh, half Dominican, and went to uh, I don't know. Went around and we went to fix this house, kind of, uh, from a really rich guy. Really cool. You can see it in this video. So we were here in Miami. We were here in Miami in this whoever's apartment, which is fucking crazy. You should see it. Really cool. Look at this. Kind of inside. He has the original swords from the movie of Monte Cristo. And he has something in HBO. Crazy. More Monte Cristo. Crazy apartment, dude. Look at that. That's the kitchen. More of the view. Shit. And then we went to this drive through bank. Yeah, look, this looks, bank looks kind of plugged from space. We, don't, we <laughs> yeah. should Im import that to Slovenia. Yeah. This is it here, you can see it. Sucks up. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah. <laughs> Later on, the next day, yeah, next day we went to West, West Palm, Palm Bay, which is about a two hour and a half drive away from here. It's like a tourist center and we went and we had lunch and we were supposed to go swimming but we didn't. So in the evening we went to check out. But the thing is that we were driving with a, a Castro's lover. Yeah. Fidel Castro's lover. She was actually like, how old is she? She's like 85 years old probably. Mm -hmm. She's from she Cuba. Rory and telling her uh, her story and stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, she touched him, the same as she touched Castro, Castro I guess. She was really <laughs> into me. Yeah. Interesting, that's a fascinating story. Uh -huh. She wrote a book about it. <laughs> yeah. She actually invited me to a jazz concert, and she wanted to pay for everything. But I said, no, I can't. Why? <laughs> yeah, I'm not into old ladies. <laughs> So we came back in the evening where Shagda went to bed, then afterwards the morning went to South Beach, South Beach which is crazy. We already put some videos on up to now, but here's a bit more in, in this Beach. clip. It's a South Beach. It really was a long ride there. We took a bus, we were riding the beach. It really was a long ride there. South Beach. Yeah. It's a fora, ma cosmetica, it's a long, 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 long. We stopped at about 250 meters. So da kam prijes dve uri sma da diher vozla na prišla da je prijes autom ne ne dve uri sma isti bil da en uro ba postoji do krala mal doma. And then on the beach, beach was beautiful, really beautiful beach, loads of sand, which you can't get off for like the next week, and it was quite cool. And we met this cool guy called Emmanuel. He's an American soldier, which was actually really educated. Kind of surprised. He really likes to. He's really good at with picking women. up women. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Pick. <laughs> oh kind God. of a different experience. Every woman he saw, he was like, "Oh, mm -hmm, let's get the number and stuff like that." <laughs> he actually spent like 60 bucks for us just to. I don't yeah, know. Pay for just to amuse the woman. Yeah. So we were like wingmen that were paid. So he didn't have to go alone. So, welcome to America. My two buddies are gonna get so. Say hello, right? Hello. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. 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 Kind of guy. Good that we met so him. Afterward, yeah. afterwards, he bring us home, and we had a night ride uh, around Miami. Uh, around Miami, quite beautiful, as you see. Really lights up at night. And the next day, we had a date with Tico again, and we were waiting for him for like, you know how it is, the you know, Dominican way. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, it's for us. We were five minutes late, but he's it's normal here for like four or five hours late. 
that's some tour, tour, something goes well. You arrange, uh, you arrange a meeting, I don't know, at 2 and he'll come at 9 o'clock in the evening. <coughs> Literally. It's not exaggerated. This cannot really happen. This can really happen. Never trust Dominican people when like, they say they're going to be on time. Because yeah. they're not going to be on time. <laughs> Biggest lie ever. Did you, we went to Natalie's and Tyrone's place. Yes. Tyrone is actually a Colombian guy. We were expecting a very tall uh, Afro-American person. But no, he was actually Colombian. And he spoke like um, a drug dealer. Uh, quite. <laughs> He has a beard and he's like, hey, hello, can I help you guys? <laughs> you want to get some stuff with me? We can jam and get some guitars. Have some Colombian women and some Colombian coffee. He <laughs> literally speaks that, like that's that. That's actually how he speaks, yeah. And it's really, really cool because you think uh, he's a really good nice. producer. And they have a huge, really awesome, awesome band. You have to check this out. They're called Tambuca. That's like two members of this band. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put the link down there. And they're crazy, really yeah, cool. To the pizza place, there we were like, that was the weirdest experience ever. Ooh, the pizza place. We got a bit tip tipsy, and we don't have the recordings, that's why I feel bad. Like, imagine this scene we were at a pizza parlor having pizza, we were jamming there outside in the terrace, and then out of nowhere, these um, how should I say, polite black people came out and they put up a stereo system and started blasting reggae. Totally reggae. It's a, a female DJ. What? Female DJ, and they were like totally Black blasting team. reggae like crazy, and out of nowhere, like ten or twenty little kids came, and they started dancing like crazy to reggae, like Bob Marley. They were totally crazy about it. And then well, there came a Black Santa. Yes. And, and I was like, what <laughs> is happening there? If you would have seen that, that's like something from a movie, a really fucked up movie. <laughs> yeah. But over there. So the uh, next day we went to South Beach again. Again. And we met this really cool guy called, called Gabriel. He is Saraya's um, nephew. Nephew. Yeah. That's him. That's him. Hey guys. So this is. I'm gonna introduce you guys to Miami. This is the trip from Rory and Clement, and they're gonna show you what Miami is. What you see here, the beach. Take a look around. Take a look around at the camera. Look at that. Miami. This is Miami. So anyhow, next day we had Christmas dinner. So we were just hanging around all day, and in the evening we went to Soraya's and Vitko's, and Vitko made us some really awesome food. Boz is Miami. We ate French cuisine in Miami, which is, doesn't happen every day. Every day. <laughs> and afterwards, we exchanged gifts, you know, your normal tradition and shit. And then we went to Bobby McIntyre. That, that is my friend from Miami. He's a producer here. That was like the craziest party, party, the best party ever. Really, people we, are on fifties, but still, it was great. Still awesome. We were hanging out with Lenny Kravitz, best friend. Uh, Producer, co-producers from Quentin Tarantino, Steven Spielberg, Michael Bay, like uh, crazy. A person who works with Tom Hanks and Keira Knightley. And in this video, you can see the the inside. This is actually his house. It's kind of a studio. Have a studio. Bobby's house. Bobby is fucking awesome, and he has a fucking awesome studio. Really cool. 
That's him. That's Bobby with the glasses and the white shirt. Showing you to fuck. This is his house. It's fucking crazy, dude. This is, this is uh, one room only. This is the mixing room, which is also crazy. And here are the guitars. Woo! Loco, man. Got a lot of shit here. This is just two rooms. This is just two rooms. He has like eight other rooms. Not for you guys. So the next day we went to to uh, Gabriel's father's birthday. Yay! We were driving again for two hours. It's in the south. Oh. It's close to. I was so fucked up because I didn't sleep for the whole <laughs> night because of this Bobby's party, and he actually went to sleep because he had to drive. Our second video blog. That's about it. This one wasn't so interesting, but there's a lot of stuff that happened to us that is going to be even more interesting. So keep track on the next blog. You're going to like that one. If you want. That's just for our memories, actually. Yeah, we're not doing this for you, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. But anyways, if you want to keep track, see what we're doing, more than welcome. Have a nice one. Miami, you got style. Sunshine, white sand by the mile. When you live in this town, each day is sublime. The coldest of winters are warm and divine. Miami, Miami, you got style. Blue sky, sunshine, white sand by the mile. There's ball clubs and nightclubs, all within reach. Dance the samba till morning. Lie on the beach. Each view is a postcard. Each day a great time. The cream of the crop hits the top of the line. Miami, Miami, you've got style.